in the top right of the map here on Frost Letter Edition for Game 2 between Trapdoor Spider and Omi. It is our Pink Surf player, DJ's Omi. And in the top left, Frost Ladder Edition. It is our Purple Zerg, DJ's Trapdoor Spider. I did not realize they were in the same clan. Look at that. That, that fact, they just did not process at all oh. in the game. Oh, in fact they are. Yes, very nice catch. Huh. <laughs> uh, I wonder if they played with each other before this. It was actually entirely possible. The uh, I think the knight icon should have given it away. I guess... Um, we weren't paying attention. Oh, I wasn't just because, you know, lag and all this other stuff going on. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Because I've played with lag before. Right. It's really hard. Like, the worst type of lag that you can get, though, is not stalls, it's mouse lag. It's like you click uh, and yeah. nothing happens for half a second. That's it's, frustrating. It's the ping. Micro. Yep. The ping difference. Oh. If you connect with somebody in Europe, that sort of thing. Um, I've had that happen. People have been playing on the <laughs> NA server in bronze. Uh, it is so tough to move your phoenixes around when you when you can't get them to react when you click. All right, and Omi opting for an early hatch. Should see the same shortly from uh, Trapdoor. Yep. Or not? Players, not early hatch. Hatch first. Yes. Nah. Hatch first <laughs> at fourteen. So this is this is pretty typical. I mean, it's. This map, it's really, really hard to hit somebody with an early pool. You're basically guessing and throwing dice, and a lot of players don't like to be really doing that. So they're we'll go for the kind of the meta there. They're saying, "Well, I don't expect you to early pull me, so I'm going to hatch first, because I believe it should be safe." Right. So sooner gas from trap as before into a pool. Ooh. A little bit the opposite for me. Trap hiding Otherwise, a drone uh, in Omi's main base here, top left corner. Is he waiting to scout? Yep, he's going to dive the Overlord in. Trap will get there soon as well. Well, is there? No, yeah, you're right. I didn't. I couldn't tell if you were talking about a drone or an Overlord. Just sort of like, <laughs> just a little, little the, uh, um, blurb from um, Skype there. The uh, the Overdrone? Um. <laughs> no, it was Skype. I couldn't hear you. Wow. Oh. How about that? All right. Okay. Internet. Um. So both players are expansions down. Look like they're both uh, got their gas and their spawning pool up. And me opting for a spine crawler. Hmm. Yeah, double spine crawler in his base here. So like Omi is expecting pressure. Usually only goes for the one. Tries to build a spine crawler in the back of the base. Omi yep. immediately fishes that out. Oh, doesn't cancel it. Drone is lost. Then <laughs> that drone with the gas uh, really wants to get that overlord there. It's actually trying to, yeah. It's, it's running up to it and everything, being like, look at my gas. Look at it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Overlord's taken out. Both players working on their speed. Uh, trapdoor going for another Baneling Nest. It's the same strat as last time. Let's see how well it goes for him here. So what do you think Omi is going to do? Last game, pushed into Roaches and went into Muted Lisks after that. Uh, do you think he's going to try anything else? He's only got one worker in the gas here, so... Um, it's probably going to be more Link heavy, I would imagine. Yeah, passively gassing like this allows you to do things like later grab the roach tech and have enough gas to get a few roaches out immediately or to uh, go into a baneling nest. Gives you some flexibility. He's putting three in there now, which means that I, I'm actually sooner expect either a real quick roach transition or he's going to go banelings pretty much. I'd be real surprised if he did too much more differently. By the way, Ling's running around the map to get up here for a scout. Lings from Trap running forward. Feeling's going to discover that there are in fact other links here. Speed or no, that kind of that kind of numbers, you're not going to win that fight. Nope, he does have a spine crawler at the natural. I mean, this will help, but uh, I don't know if this is going to be very good for Omi. Nope, Speed has just finished. 
Drones now responding, actually leaving instead of killing the queen. Ooh, runs up here, and yeah, pretty big miscontrol from Trap on that. Yeah, a little bit of <laughs> Miss Micro, uh, running him in right into the spine crawler. I've at least gotten that uh, queen, unfortunately not able to make that happen. Six banelings being produced at home. Should help him defend if a counter link push comes. Both players going up to roaches, so me going a little bit quicker. Here comes the counter push. So kind of a lack of uh, Overlord spread around the map here. Still not getting anywhere near as much information for him. Omi is taking advantage of that very well. Ooh, we need Banelings. Seeing the Banelings taking off, figuring that's not a good idea right now. And he's moving into a third instead. This is an interesting choice from Omi. Um, I mean, a lot of pressure right now, for, or at least there's technically an opening for a timing here from Trap if he wants to build up some more units and move out. I'm not sure if going right away is necessarily going to work out. He's going to be able to take the Watchtower away from him, at least. Banelings following along behind. Waiting for that to catch up. And Trap looks like he's just going to take the Watchtower and sit here for a bit. Hmm. Yep, Roach is moving out. I'm gonna pick away at these lings here, about half the half the squad. Failing's gonna yeah, take out all those lings. This is a very risky thing that Hilton is doing right now. <laughs> Extremely scary. Uh, he could easily lose all of those roaches and the bailing. I mean, not roaches, all the lings, and then the roaches hitting the bailings would allow him to take that push there and yeah hey here comes some roaches on top of that so now this is getting scarier and scarier no spine crawler down here to help out with this this is pretty much just a macro hatch down here right now being utilized quite effectively both players actually starting to stockpile quite a bit of money yep trapdoor actually using some of that to uh move into a third base so he's going to follow him up from there i don't think trap actually yeah he doesn't know about that third base but Oh, hello. I mean, he's just going to try and run around him while he's got the, the launch tower. Try and get us around here on these roaches. Lock him down. And that's too much DPS. Uh, we will clean this up pretty hard, I think. Oh, maybe... Well, yeah, in a moment or two. Right, and he's got the better concave, too. Those roaches are pretty low health, so... Uh, Trap he's... is controlling this. He's not able to control this quite so well. Could still be suffering from some lag issues, maybe. Uh, let's see, Glee over Constitution coming out for Omi, plus one attacks for Trap. Forces regathering at the Watchtower here, and um, and uh, Trap gathering at his third base. So it looks like he's in a bit of trouble here. Um, he's the the army supply is not not too much different, but uh, I think Omi on the back of this probably has a little bit of. Uh, better macro. Um, he's got another base that's operational now. Twelve um, more drones. It's actually quite a bit ahead in this respect. Trap trying to sneak out a couple drones here and there. He's trying to push out uh, missile attacks one as well. Um, Love this shortly. He's going up into Hydrus. And a big burst of 40 links. This would actually give him the ability to pressure a little bit, if he wants. If not, take out that base completely. And here we go. Pushing in, getting the concave now. So speed's giving Omi a nice uh, advantage here, as is his positioning. Missile attacks shall finish in just two seconds, though. And now that that's done, this becomes a little bit harder to attack into. The Lings are helping out a lot to tank for the Roaches, though. They're doing a huge amount of damage. And the uh, Roach Force is pretty much just being gobbled up. Nothing really to defend down here otherwise. No Queen, even. So, drones are going to fall. We'll be able to take this location down. Meanwhile, more Roaches coming up in trap space up there. Yeah, this third is definitely going to go down, though. The drones are trying to escape here. He's got speed as well. Needs to be careful not to fight now. Doesn't want to lose any Roaches. He does have speed and plus one. So if he can rebuild his Roach County, we'll be able to drive this away. Maybe push back. But no, don't run down there now. Oh. 
Ooh, all these roaches getting surrounded can be decimated. Oh, he's making his advance toward uh toward the natural natural base. Uh, well, I think. Can even really, well, I was gonna say if he pushes him right now, I can't really hold that off. But the spine crawlers might actually finish. So he realizes this is gonna snipe these down. Two of them come up. Much more roaches joining the fight. Now suddenly this is not so safe a proposition to fight. But he has done an incredible amount of damage so far. Right, he's he's up a <laughs> completely another base. Um, the drone lead still hasn't changed by too much. Oop. Oh, 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 me lagging out this time. Mm-hmm. Hopefully not completely here. Oh. So me moving into Roach Hydra. Is there is there a composition of Zerg you can take um, <laughs> against Roach Hydra? I mean, the only thing I could think would be uh, Infestation. Roach Hydra? Yeah, Infestor um, Tech type thing. Investor Swarm Host, basically higher tier tech, is pretty good against it. Yeah. I mean, there's really not much else. I mean, like someone was saying in chat, Burrow can be pretty good if you have enough roaches. Yeah, it looks like um, Trapdoor didn't have too much detection. Um, doesn't have any detection right now, actually, so uh, Burrow for Omi would probably be a good move as well. Um, yeah, for either player. I think what they're kind of doing right now is they're just sort of hanging out at this level of tech, and they'd grab an Overseer if they felt like they needed to. This is really scary for Trap. He's been basically put in the dark now. He's, he's like looking at a Protoss's vision. He's got literally nothing. All right. He's just kind of waiting for these Hydras to walk up in on him. Uh, they're going to pinch from the top here. So I think we're going to see a split sort of push. Lane's gathering up. And Roaches could actually get stuck in the back here if he's not careful. He's going to need those Roaches up in front of those Hydralisks. There's just so time, much DPS here, yeah. Yep, he's gonna lose this natural guaranteed, and uh, I don't think that there's any way he can pull out of this. Nope, it's just too much power. Hydra's pushing everything down, some more Hydra's coming out, but they're gonna get killed off immediately here. And now we're gonna watch the base die. And you know, it's pretty rough whenever someone gets on top of your rally points like that, just nothing you can do. 